So in this short video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of values in relationship to meditation. Now, another way of talking about values is what matters to you, what's important to you, what are the really kind of basic tenets or principles that you consider to be uh, primary and important to you. And not just on an intellectual and mental idea level, but in a heartfelt and emotional, and even, you could say, on a mythological level. So within the tradition of Buddhism and the Dharma, there's a very strong emphasis on training. There are the three primary trainings in ethics, meditation and wisdom. And the, the basic background to those three trainings is a very uh, principial teaching which is called Conditioned Arising. And in a nutshell, without going into it in too much detail, Conditioned Arising explains how out of any particular condition other conditions arise. Now, that means that, uh, for example, if you get into the habit of being whinging, whining, complaining, that will deepen and propagate itself and become more and more of it. Uh, that's just a negative example. Uh, but the same is true, of course, of positive qualities. The more present you become, the more open, the more positive then the more that those conditions give rise to similar kinds of conditions which unfold and deepen and come to fruition in different ways. And that includes the, the whole process of, you could, I like the word spawning, but developing or bringing into being other similar positive qualities. Now this approach to meditation means that you need to kind of understand that principle in relationship to meditation. That when you are wanting to be here and in touch and in touch with positive qualities, like being for the welfare of beings, then the more that you're in touch with those qualities, the more that they'll grow. And the more in a way you see their value you might initially see the value of being present and alive and growing from where you are. But the more that happens, the more you think, this is really fantastic. This is, I really believe this. And I really know it to be true. It's not an idea anymore. So in this way, you get a sense that you have a choice in your meditation. You have a choice of which way you want to go. Uh, you might have old habits and tendencies of prevarication and obsession, getting caught up in things in your head, blaming, going off in fantasies where you're always the hero, hero or heroine. And at a certain point in the meditation, you need to look at those in the context of, if I carry on doing these things, giving myself to these uh, qualities and these approaches, then they will strengthen. And that gives rise to seeing the implications, getting a sense of the implications of that, that five years down the road, 10, 20, 30 years down the road, you will be more and more like that. And how do you feel about that? How do you feel about the prospect of being like that in the future. So in, in, in this way, you can also get a sense of it positively. You know, after a good meditation or being on retreat, you feel more present, more alive, more energy. And you get a sense, well, yes, if I give myself to this, then I'll be more like this. This will grow and this will develop. Uh, there'll be more choice. Anyway, more clarity and insight into who I am and uh, more determination about 
my prospects. How do I feel about that? Uh, and in that way, you start to, as it were, align yourself with the development and openness to a, a process of development, a process of becoming more and more positive, clearer, brighter, and, and more honest about yourself. And in that way, your capacity to deal with difficult things, with uh, things that take you away, and are negative, becomes stronger. You have more capacity to deal with them. And how do you feel about that? So in a way, this process of looking at one's life in terms of conditioned arising and asking this very simple question, and how do I feel about that, over time, gives you a, a, a rich complex of values with some sort of primary values. This is important. This means something to me. And on that basis, you can then go into the meditation with a sense of, well, I will face difficulties because I know it's important. And in that way, you, you have a, a whole overview of what matters to you and how to, and a, a modus operandi or a way of working with your life.